Hello, and welcome to the Canopy Quick Start. In this video, we'll get started with calibration. In previous videos, we've seen how our Canopy hardware configuration allows us to connect to hardware devices, and the act of measurement is bringing data from those devices into Canopy so that we can work with it in the windows we have configured to get our jobs done. With calibration, the data flow goes the other way. Canopy allows us to make changes to data that is then written into the memory of a connected ECU to modify the behavior of the software running in the ECU. Let's see how that looks in Canopy. In previous videos, we set up a basic Canopy project. Let's pick up where we left off there. So far, we've set our project up so that we can measure data from our CAN monitor device and from our ECU memory that we communicate with using the XCP protocol. To calibrate, we'll need some new windows. If we go to our ECU device in the Symbol Explorer and find the windshield wiper system and look for calibration parameters, we can see that there are a collection of simple scalar parameters that we can grab and put into a calibration window. Canopy will put those parameters into a calibration window, go out to the ECU, read the current calibration values for those parameters, and load the window up with the current parameter values. But we're already running out of some screen real estate here. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room to work. I'll go up here and create a new display page, and we'll call it Wiper Calibration. And then we'll take those same calibration parameters and drag and drop them and put them into a new calibration window. If we drag and drop our map data, we can put it into a new map curve window, which will show us a tabular numeric view of the data, as well as a graphic view of the map surface. And if we double click on our column divider, Canopy will format all of the columns and rows to fit nicely for us on the screen. So now we can see the map as a table like we might in Excel, as well as in a graphic relief surface. To calibrate any of our values, all we have to do is change them here in the calibration window. For instance, if we want to change the duty cycle for our windshield wiper when it's in low speed mode, we can change the value from 70 to 55. And if we want to change the duty cycle of the high speed mode, we can change the high duty calibration parameter value from 80% to 85%. And notice that as we change the value, Canopy pops up a window showing us what the upper and lower bounds for the calibration parameter value is. This is determined in the A2L file. Canopy remembers the changes that we have made. Downward changes are indicated with downward pointing arrows. Increasing values are indicated with an upward pointing arrow. To save any of our changes, we can right click in the window and we can pick parameter set, save or save selected parameters. Let's save all of the parameters in the window. I'll pick save and then Canopy will ask me to save my calibration data. I will save it to my wiper cals. And I have the choice of many different file formats that I wish to save to. Let's pick CDFX for our file format. I hit save. And I have saved my calibration work in progress to a CDFX file. If I make more changes here, say we'll change our automatic wiper duty cycle from 55 to 66%, and we'll change our high speed duty cycle from 85 to 90 and we'll change our low speed duty cycle from 55 to 50 
and then we can recover our saved work in progress by again right clicking in the window and pick parameter set again and this time instead of save we're going to pick load. Canopy opens up a file selection dialog and there we can see the CDFX file that we created in the previous step. We'll pick our CDFX file and Canopy will say here's what's in the CDFX file that I'm going to load and here are the values stored in the CDFX file that we are going to apply to the ECU when we load the file. I can let all of these pass through or I can knock some of them out and I can hit OK and they will be loaded back into the ECU. Likewise, we can save the data across all of the parameters in the A2L file using the calibration menu on the ribbon. I can save all of the changes made in Canopy across all of the windows and again I have the opportunity to pick which device I want to save my changes for. It'll be my ECU and again I get a file selection dialog and this time I can pick my complete ECU as my CDFX file name and I hit save and then to recover our work in progress across multiple windows, I can go to the ribbon and pick load from parameter set file. And I can pick which device I want to load calibrations for. Hit OK. And now I can pick my complete ECU CDFX file or my wiper cal CDFX file. And I'll pick my complete ECU and pick open. And now you can see my list of calibration parameters is much longer because all of the parameters available in the A2L file are here for us because they were saved off in the previous step. And I can pick which of these I want to allow to pass through. I'll pick OK to let them all come through and all calibration parameters for the A2L file are loaded in from the CDFX file and those values are written into the ECU memory.